Hello. Thank you for taking some time today to watch my short presentation about the most common applications for bridges, roads, and culverts. My name is Kelly Shield. I'm the sales engineer for Eurotech, and I'm also a project manager in my territory. Eurotech is a specialty contractor that injects structural polymers for various applications. When the name Eurotech is announced, the process commonly called slab jacking normally comes to mind. However, our patented deep injection method, referred to as UDI, is used for the majority of our applications. We use UDI to inject specially designed, highly expansive structural polymers into soils and road base, and I'll discuss this process further in a moment. Eurotech has 26 years of experience, and we've completed well over 85,000 jobs. We have our own in-house engineering department that's headed by Dr. Randy Brown. Dr. Brown has a PhD in civil engineering with a geotechnical specialty and has 19 years experience with the US Air Force solving airfield pavement issues. Some of our clients are US Air Force, US Navy, DOTs, airports, cities and counties and other entities across the country. What does polymer injection accomplish? It creates a strong soil polymer composite and compact soils as a result of significant polymer expansion. Our material will expand approximately 20 times its liquid volume. It is also performed in situ with no excavation and no tear out required. This is what we call a soils box. These are commonly used for demonstration purposes. A list of materials contained in this box are shown below. The photo at the right is post-injection. The material will expand and push itself through the path of least resistance. It will find voids in weak soil areas and permeate, encapsulate, and create a strong soil polymer composite. As you may also note from the photo, not all, not all areas were permeated by the polymer. These were areas that had minimal voids and were compact. The polymer travels only to the weak, uncompact areas. Now I'll talk about the common applications for the roads, bridges, and culverts. With asphalt roads, we can stabilize and strengthen bearing capacity of weak road base. We can lift and level dips, stabilize void fill, and bind road base under transverse and horizontal cracks. We can mitigate water intrusion and force water out. This gives us frost heave applications where we can minimize water intrusion to reduce swelling and we can also stiffen road base to create a bridging effect. With concrete roads, we can lift and level dips or faulted panels and joints, stabilize concrete panel joints. We can increase load transfer efficiencies, and we have been used in place of Dalbar retrofit. We can mitigate water intrusion and force water out, which gives us the same frost heave applications as with asphalt roads. With bridge approach and departure slabs, we stabilize and strengthen weak supporting soils, lift and level slabs, and we expel water and minimize future water intrusion. We can stabilize and void fill supporting soils around culverts. We can mitigate water flow around and underneath. We can lift settled box culverts. We can stabilize and level settled roads above. A fairly common problem seen with culverts is that they are subject to settlement of the fill that was compacted around them during installation, and we've seen many instances where this fill material settles, causing pavement cracking and settlement of the road above. The settlement could have been attributed to poor initial compaction, or could have been due to a combination of water intrusion and vibration from traffic, which can cause the fine particles to migrate away, leaving voids in collapsible soils. A common reaction is to repave the area, with the same material or possibly a more rigid pavement such as concrete instead of asphalt. This is a temporary treatment for the symptom and not a treatment for the cause, which is weak supporting soil. Eurotech Deep Injection fixes the weak soil and treats the cause. It's a permanent solution rather than a temporary fix. Slip lining is also a good application for our material. Most jobs can be complete in a few hours. We simply insert our tube and inject as we extract. No bulkheads are needed. It's a great seal. The polymer binds to the liner in the hose pipe and the expansive polymer performs exceptionally to fill void space outside the hose pipe. The photo on the left is a roadway that we leveled in 1993. 
had as much as 12 inches of settlement. 15 years later, the photo at the right was taken. The road was still smooth, and it's still smooth today in 2015 after 22 years. The material has a high strength to weight ratio. The most commonly used is a four pound per cubic foot density when injected into open air. As we inject into soils, the density increases as well as the strength. We normally peak out at 10 pounds per cubic foot when injecting under heavy loads. Ultra-fast strength. 90% strength in 30 minutes and full strength in 24 hours. You can drive on a road as soon as we clean up and leave the work site. It's also environmentally inert. NSF 61 approved and may be used with potable water. It's also hydro-insensitive and we can inject into wet soils and standing water. That wraps up my presentation for today. Thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation and please contact me with further questions or to request a full-length lunch and learn and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.